Aramati never thought she would be able to give birth to her own babies. Decades ago, she gave up thinking she would ever hold her own kids in her arms. But thankfully, she had her husband Rajaro by her side, who remained hopeful and convinced Aramati to try for a child one last time. And much to everyone's surprise, Aramati, who was then 74 years old, fell pregnant. However, when she eventually gave birth and her husband saw the babies, he let out a very loud scream. Many, many years ago, Aramati was the belle of Ernella Partiparu village in eastern India. Many people described her as having eyes that shone like stars and skin as bright as the sun. Not only was Aramati beautiful, but she was also very intelligent. She would compete in quiz and spelling competitions and would always bring the trophy home. Aramati's parents weren't well-to-do, but they lived a comfortable life. They could afford the basic things, food and shelter, but they wanted more. They wanted to move to a bigger house and perhaps live in a big city someday. So when a wealthy suitor from a neighboring village visited them and told them he wanted to marry Aramati, they were ecstatic. The man had several lands, farms and houses all over India. He was quite wealthy. As a result, Aramati's parents didn't care that he was already married to three wives who had all children from him. They accepted his proposal even before discussing it with their daughter. Much to everyone's surprise, Aramati rejected the young man's proposal, stating that he wouldn't be able to give her the kind of life she wanted. You see, Aramati was a hopeless romantic. She desired to love with all her heart and to also be loved in return. And this man didn't strike her as someone ready to open up his heart to all that comes with love. Aramati didn't see him as someone ready to be vulnerable and surrender himself to the other person and stay even in difficult times. I think if I had married this man, he would have sent me out of the house because I couldn't give him a child. I would have ended up as a sad, lonely woman without kids. Maybe I wouldn't have lived this long. Each time I look back on the day when I told my parents that I wouldn't marry him and I ran out of the house, I feel very proud of myself and I'm glad I made that decision," Aramati would later say in an interview. A year after rejecting the wealthy man's proposal, Aramati, then 20, met Rajaro, a farmer in her village. Although he wasn't rich, he was humble, easygoing and he had a soft spot for Aramati. The two started dating secretly at first because they were worried that Aramati's parents might oppose their relationship because of Rajaro's financial status. But after dating for a few months, Rajaro decided it was time to stop hiding, so he visited Aramati's parents and told them he was in love with their daughter. Although it took a while, Aramati's parents eventually approved of the couple's relationship. It's often rare to find someone who loves you just as much as you love them, but luckily for Rajaro and me, we loved each other with the same intensity," Aramati explained. The couple's relationship moved really fast and within a few weeks, they found themselves fantasizing about their wedding and what would it feel like to wake up next to each other. They even started picking baby names. He would always tell me that he wanted our children to have my eyes. In fact, he just wanted them to look like me because he felt they would be more beautiful. <laughs> I think that's really funny," Aramati said. You see, Aramati's mom had lots of kids, as well as her siblings. So Aramati fantasized about having six kids, three boys and three girls. Little did she know she would have to wait decades for a baby and that the journey would be filled with lots of pain, tears and regrets. After dating for a year, Aramati and Rajara walked down the aisle. Although it was a small wedding ceremony with only a few guests in attendance, they were happy. Everyone could tell that the couple was truly in love with each other. The couple moved to a spacious two-bedroom apartment, courtesy of friends and family. The house was also close to Rajaro's farm, which he and his wife managed. The couple was glad they would have more time to work on their farm, which meant more money. The couple knew if they worked hard and smart, they could cater to their children. Soon enough, the couple started trying for a child shortly after getting married. But when their efforts were in vain after six months of trying, Aramati started to get worried. Don't you think it's too early to start getting worried? Trust me, everything will be fine, I promise, Rajara would often tell his wife. I know it's still too early to start getting worried, but I just have a strong feeling that something is wrong, Aramati would respond. Aramati's parents were the next to start fretting over their daughter's inability to conceive. Aramati's mother started giving her a lot of herbal concoctions to boost fertility, but all efforts proved abortive. 
Soon enough, Rajaro's parents started pestering him to take in a new wife that could bear him children. The couple was under lots of pressure because each day different family members would come in to give unsolicited advice. Rumors even started flying around that Aramati had gotten pregnant in the past and gotten rid of the child and during the surgical process, her womb had been damaged, hence her inability to have a child. Yes, the couple loved each other so much, but the rumors started to take a toll on their marriage. Aramati lost her self-esteem and she began to think that Rajara would take in another wife. A part of her felt he believed the rumors flying around, but it was all just in her head, as Rajara would often tell her. About 10 years later, Aramati still hadn't been able to have a child and by then, her mental health started to decline. She sank into depression, lost a lot of weight and some locals swore that they sometimes saw her talking to herself and hitting her belly. Regardless of it all, Rajaro stood by his wife. He would seize any opportunity to reaffirm his love. We don't have to give birth to kids. I'm your child and you're my child. I love you always and forever. Let's just be happy and live our lives to the fullest, Rajaro told his wife one day, 30 years after they had been trying for a child. Aramati eventually gave up. But then, she had tried all sorts of traditional medications and fertility boosters, but nothing worked. So, she decided to give happiness a chance, although she still cried herself to bed some nights. Well, little did she and her husband know a miracle was about to happen. In 2017, a 55-year-old woman who was Aramati and Rajaro's neighbor conceived through IVF and she happily told Aramati and Rajaro, who were 73 and 81 years old respectively. When they learned that they could have a child through IVF, the couple decided to give it a chance. They were optimistic. They signed up with a hospital in the province and the doctor started the IVF procedure. Since Aramati was already too old to release eggs, they got the eggs from a donor and the doctors used Rajaro's sperm. Much to the doctor's surprise, Aramati conceived in the first cycle. When the doctor told me I was pregnant, I couldn't feel my body. I was on cloud nine. Words would fail to describe how happy I was. Rajaro was beside me and he was just shedding tears. We were so happy. We never knew a day like this would come, Aramati said. Aramati's pregnancy period was a smooth and healthy one. She had no complications and scan results also showed that the baby was in good health. In due time, Aramati was wheeled into the operating room for a C-section and a couple of minutes later, the doctors delivered not one baby, but a set of twin girls. After the delivery, the nurse went over to meet Rajaro, who was in the waiting area, and she told him that he could go to the labor room to meet his wife and newly born twins. The man couldn't believe his ears. With tears of joy in his eyes, Rajaro walked over to Aramati as she was administering skin-to-skin -skin contact to the babies. As soon as Rajaro laid his eyes on the twins, he screamed for joy. I just kept screaming and saying, Look at my girls! I'm a father! Aramati made me a father! I'm a proud father of two beautiful girls! Words would fail to describe the amount of joy the couple felt after waiting for more than 50 years to have a child. And now, they had two. I'm glad that their patience eventually paid off. What do you think about this story? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you next time.